here's my redo intro. I thought that it recorded the first half and it totally didn't. It just jumped to the to the middle of the video. So welcome. Welcome to part three of Will It Smart Doll featuring Rainbow High. Today's video will be showcasing the beautiful, fabulous, talented singer Aisha Sterling. If you have not already watched the Rainbow High television series, which you can watch entirely on YouTube, I 10 out of 10 recommend it. It is really, really cute. The music numbers are fantastic. They are so well done. And the story is just really modern and just really relatable. I like them a lot. One thing that I'm not liking so much is how they portray Aisha Sterling in the show. They make her out to be kind of, kind of a villain. I don't like that because I just think she's really great. So hopefully when the next season comes out, she will get a chance to, to shine in a different light. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the footage of the face-up process. Now again, the face-up is not gonna be showing like it, the entirety. And the reason being is I have to get really close to the head. The way that I can best demonstrate what I mean with like how close I get, use this drill bit as an example. I've got a head here that I'm gonna be working on for Ben. So I'm a lefty. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I don't have a super steady hand. I've had to really work on it. So when I'm actually working on face-ups, I will be like this close, this close. And I will be, my hand is basically blocking, covering the entire head and I'm drawing ever so slowly and very lightly and so I'm doing this a lot and it just doesn't register as well and so I don't think that there's a solution to it because of that is just what I found works best for me.
I really like how she came out. I think she looks really cool. I like that she has like a metallic silver makeup and I had metallic pencils, which I use. And then she has a little white accent that goes along the top. And I added a little bit of glitter. And then I also did a metallic lip for her as well and a really glossy lip. I didn't have a ton of time to sew. So then the last two girls are gonna have sewing components to their outfits. And so I ended up making, and so, haha, I ended up making a little tube top because her colors are kind of like white, silver, and sparkle. And so I made this tube top with a feather sticking out as feather as part of the design in her costume. And then I did like a cute little back deal. It took me probably three hours to hand sew because when I hand sew again, I really take my time. And yeah, I just, I eyeballed it and just, yeah, basic, basic tube top. The eyes that I ended up using for her, my friend Raleigh Bear makes really awesome eyes and she just launched Semi-Real recently. So I had some Semi-Real brown eyes that I put in and they are lovely. I really like her eyes. I think she has a really good variety and she just came out with like little heart, like kawaii heart eyes um, for Valentine's Day. So I will link her shop below. Go check it out. And yeah, the shorts that she's wearing are these beautiful like metallic silver shorts. And I got these from Mabinjo. Really, really like that shop. I think the price points are really good and it's really quality, um, quality pieces. So it's not necessarily what I envisioned for Aisha. And I also realized I don't have a lot of like sparkle, guys. Like I don't have like dangly sparkle earrings as she wears a lot of diamond accoutrements. I didn't have any of that. So I had like one clip that was just diamond color diamond color, just diamonds. It was definitely more of a challenge in terms of the outfit, but I think next week's character will translate a little bit better. Um, I have more, I definitely have more to work with for the character that will be, not next week, but the week after. So next week, this week, this weekend, is Doll Con Dallas and John and Sandy are coming in to Austin for a few days to hang out with us starting tomorrow evening. We're gonna try to find a time where we can go live and hang out. That's why this video is being posted during their normal slot uh, because I just had kind of a weird, kind of a weird weekend. Um, I have cellulitis on my nose. Like of all the places to get it, and it's like you probably, it probably just looks like a pimple now, but it was like the entire left side of my nose was like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. And I thought it was a pimple, and then it just like got really swollen and painful, and it lived. So I just was like, you know, it doesn't seem right. Went to the doctor, found out it's cellulitis, and um, they, what probably ended up happening is um, I get a lot of nosebleeds and sores on the inside of my nose because I have really bad sinuses and allergies and I'm constantly just like blowing my nose. And so my nosebleeds have been really bad this season. And what ended up happening is I think that uh, I had a sore that got infected and it spread. So like, I know it's gross. So gross, it's so gross. So I have, so if you're like grossed out by stuff, maybe like take a pause and come back in 60 seconds. Um, so basically the other side of my left nostril is just like one big sore. And um, so yeah, to be on antibiotics and a cream. And so um, it's still really painful, but the color is a lot less like ur, angry and it's not spreading. So it's fine um, and it will stop being contagious in another 24 hours. I've just been staying in and just trying not to like, just be a yuck in the world. So, you know, that's fun. Yay. So event's gonna be great. I am sharing a table and assisting Dallas Dalco. Very excited about that. She is doing a pre-order right now. So if you're going to the event and you would like to order wigs, um, go ahead, check out her stock online and you can pre-order and she will bring the wig for you to be able to pick up. She will also have wigs that will 
not necessarily be for sale, but are just there to like try on and test. So if you want to like try before you buy and make an order while you're there, um, I am bringing two of my girls, Ben's bringing another, um, I'm bringing Artie and one of my fortitudes. Come by, see us, say hi. For now, love your thoughts. Thanks for being patient as I've been kind of just like scatter arranged. The ice storm kind of put a damper on a lot of things and put a put me behind schedule wise. And yeah, I very much look forward to uh, giving you hugs. And if you can't be there, we are gonna do our absolute best to go live. And then I will film some content about the event for you to enjoy later. So I love you all so much. Thank you always for your support and for being just the best people uh, in the universe. I adore you and I'm very appreciative. I will see you soon. Peace out, my bean sprout. Bye.